In this video, I'm going to show you probably the best quick pass in Madden 23 combined with a really incredible man-beating route and a really, really, really good user catch route that you're going to be able to use to attack the meta defenses. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. We do videos like this every single day, helping people get better at Madden. That's our whole goal of our channel and our Patreon. If you want to get my full eBooks, um, make sure you're in our Patreon. We have 13 offensive and defensive eBooks, including the Washington offense, which is the playbook that we're talking about today. Um, this is kind of a little preview play out of it and one of my favorite little quick passes. I think a lot of people know about the quick pass part, but we're going to show you some stuff um, that makes this even better. So uh, I'm going to jump out here into slot post. This is a phenomenal play, phenomenal, phenomenal play. Um, but I really want to show you why it is so good. So um, it's, a, it's, it's kind of... Um, it's a real simple setup. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the uh, left side receiver. We're going to motion this guy outside, and we're going to wheel our running back. Now, what this does is we have a streak to clear out every zone that they're going to – any zone will get cleared out by the streak, okay? But the main thing that we're looking for is if they're going to blitz us, we are going to essentially pass, throw this quick throw – this quick throw wheel. These wheels are incredible this year. Um, it's one of the best quick passes in the game from almost any formation. But what this does by motioning the running back out, it makes it ridiculously hard. Even if this guy is manned up on the running back, it makes it ridiculous hard for them to be able to stop this. Simply quick pass outside, and you're going to see here that a lot of times they might catch tackle you like that, but it's rare they're able to intercept it. Now, where this is also really good is in zone. So I'm going to go through some zones here with you real quick. So this can be cover three hard flat. Motion this guy out. I'm streaking this dude. And you see that the hard flat kind of gets... The, the reason we want to motion Mike Evans outside is... Because he's taking a, a, a step to the flat like a wheel, right? The flat zones are going to Mike Evans. They're not going to the running back. So you'll see again, if I drop this slot DB in a hard flat, he's not going to play it. You'll see right here again, I'm motioning this guy out. See the hard flat kind of goes outside. Now he might catch tackle me, but he's not going to intercept the ball because he's flowing outside of the window that I'm trying to throw the football in. Okay, same thing for cover two. So if I go to cover two, you might think, well, cover two surely will stop this. Not quite, because if you think about it, Mike Evans is going out here. So if they hard flat out of a cover two, it's going to be a nice little read for us to be able to just quick throw the ball. So there's only two adjustments in the game that I'm aware of. The first one is that they have to use it. The second adjustment, though, is they're going to take that blitzing slot cornerback and they're going to man him up on the running back. Now, if you see that, and that's the key adjustment you're looking for, if you see that that slot cornerback is manned up on the running back, throw a high ball to save yourself. If you're already throwing the ball, throw a high ball. And generally speaking, it's not going to get intercepted. Probably not going to be completed, um, but it's, it's probably not going to be inter, um, intercepted. So again, I'm going to man up my slot corner on him. And what you'll see is I they will typically back this down. If I don't high ball this pass, um, then I just throw it right at him. That's what's going to happen. So you've got to look for that. That is the read. If that slot corner blitzes, it's wide open every single time. If that slot corner is in zone, it's wide open every single time. If that slot corner is in man on the running back, please don't throw the ball because you're going to be very frustrated. Okay? Um, so, again, so what that, what that means, though, is this. So let's say you're like, okay, well... I'm not going to throw the ball if the slot corner blitzes. That might mean maybe some protection or whatever, but whatever. But anyway, you get this guy out here like this. So now what I want to show you is you see man coverage, right? High ball, pass lead outside to that right there. You're going to get that all day long. Because if they man up that dude, it's very difficult for them to man the running back up and for them to get double coverage onto Mike Evans. Okay, so again, you want to make sure that they have to respect the fact that you can ag them. Um, that is really, really, really important. Okay, so they have to respect the fact that this guy right here is a one-on-one -on -one potential catch. So now they have to man that slot corner up onto, um, onto the running back to stop the quick throw, which is an adjustment. And now they're only able to send four. Okay, and then from there... What we want to do is we want to ID this guy, maybe slide that way, whatever. 
But now we have time to be able to make a read over the middle. We can hit our slant or we can hit um, our other dude, right? Typically what you're going to get, honestly, is something like this. You, and it's a little bit of an adjusty setup, but it gets it to the point. So you're going to, this is the adjustments they're going to have to do to stop everything we can do on the right side. They're going to have to do something like this where they outside third to stop the, um, they got a double team on Evans and then they have this guy manned up. They got to have this guy manned up, of course. So now they're only able to send pressure backside here. Um, let me do it like this actually so that I can actually use this guy. So they're usering the middle, okay? But now they have significantly less pressure. They can only send so many people. Chances are they're not going to send this guy because he's kind of purpose. He's, he's not going to serve a purpose. So they're going to drop him in some kind of zone. Uh, typically, from my experience, you're going to get a cover three uh, like that, right? Because they're trying to bracket your bench your bench route, which is so popular from this formation. So you go to something like this, and now you see my post was wide open, okay? And my pass protection still didn't hold up perfectly. Um, and part of that is just because you need to ID uh, ID this this dude. And typically, let me do some adjustments. You know, but typically something like this. You know, so again, this 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 linebacker on the left side has to be in man coverage on the number one receiver. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna get agged, right? Because it's one on one. So, you know, over here, you know, we gotta have a third. And there's a lot that they have to do to even be able to send pressure, which they probably won't. Um, this is a great play that forces them out of the blitz. And then what this does is as long as we can pick up this corner uh, with our base pass protection, you will see that we're going to have a pretty good chance to hit that dude right there. Okay. Uh, obviously, I also had a touchdown. So just kind of assume that they're going to have to stop blitzing you because they kind of are. Um, and so then they're going to go into some zones, right? So they're going to go to cover four drop, shade underneath. Maybe they take um, this guy, put him in a hard flat, put that guy there, and then they use the middle. You know, they're going to have to adjust no matter what, and that's what's really powerful about this. They have to put that slot corner and man on this back, which should open up everything else on the play, um, including the post, which is the best man being around in the game, Okay. So that's how you use this quick pass to the wheel to open up everything else uh, for you offensively. You can ag over here on the right. Um, if you want to put triangle on a slant, feel free to do that as well. You see one-on-one, -on -one, though, you throw that like all, all day. In this year's game, if you see one-on-one -on -one and they take that slot corner and they man him up on the back, what's so nice about this is he's not going to get pressed because it's a wheel. So just pass lead outside, boom, and and you live with the drop. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna catch a lot more than you're gonna drop this year if you can get that timing down. And then the beauty of this is now they have to basically stop blitzing you. Um, and if they don't stop blitzing you, you're gonna throw right there. You got a lead blocker out there, and you potentially have you know 10, 10 to twenty yards untouched. You know, um, and then if their user has to shoot out here like this. Now that leaves a quick throw right there because, again, that guy's not going to be pressed. So you have so many options with this formation and this play. It's one of the best formations in the game to beat dollar, one of the best formations in the game to beat the blitz, one of the best formations in the game to beat man. It's a very powerful formation this year. And I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about how to run this offense, you can get my full Washington offensive ebook by joining our Patreon. $10 is all it takes to get signed up. If you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the Patreon.